What's up, nerdlings? What's up, nerdlings? Let me play you a tune and ask, do you nerd for Mega Man? Tom and Lady Lacey here talking about Mega Man. And with 35 years since his debut, there's plenty to talk about. Yeah, well, I want to know what the heck is up with this rock and roll thing. <laughs> rock, roll, you've got a bird named Beat. You've got enemies named Bass and Treble. Let me tell you something, though. Aside from all those musical-related names, the most cheesy of all are probably the bosses from Mega Man X5, who are actually named after Guns N' Roses members. The reason being a single localizer, she wanted to pay tribute to her husband's band fandom. He loved Guns N' Roses, so, you know, she uh, translated everything. That she, makes sense. She named them. How sweet. How very, very sweet. You know what else is pretty sweet? The music video from a channel, I don't even know if he's still doing stuff, but hi, I'm Ron. No, you're Tom. <laughs> he used to do these great music videos called Gets Played. And the one he did for Mega Man. Oh, it's so catchy. What an earworm. I mean, he does fun, goofy cosplay in the video, first of all. But that tune really gets in there and just sticks with you for days. Plus, there's actually someone else that makes an appearance in the video. Someone that used to be known in the YouTube verse that you were a fan of. Yes, Dodger is in the video. She plays uh, Mega Man's sister, and she has a fun little rap in there. And I think my favorite part is when she does her <gasps> big breath thing. <laughs> <laughs> This time, we are going to toss things over to Eric at Retro Gaming Pandemic, who has a different kind of Mega Man memory, not even related to the games at all. My first memory with Mega Man was actually not from the video games. It was the 1994 cartoon series. My brother and I, every Saturday morning, would wake up before our parents and we would tiptoe past their room, making sure not to wake them up. And then once we got past their door, we would beeline to the basement. We build ourselves a blanket for it. We get our favorite cereal and we sit down and watch Saturday morning cartoons and Mega Man was one of them. And it was just such a fond memory uh, growing up. And it goes to show you that Mega Man, it's more than a video game. Okay, I'm actually a little less interested in a cartoon as I am the idea of a big bowl of cereal and blanket fort. Did I hear you right? I like cereal. Nerdlings, please check out the link in the description below to check out Retro Gaming Pandemic, a very, very fun channel. Eric and his brother Jared, they're, they're just a little bit nerdy, just a little bit with all their retro interests. And please leave some comments down below about your mega fandom. Did you check out the cartoon by chance? Don't forget to like the video. Make sure you subscribe. Hit the notification bell. There's more Mega Man goodness on its way. And like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Hit us up on the Retro Refresh. Go over and get our shirts at Tee Public because we want to see those. And nerdlings, if we like it. We nerd it. Now, go get the blankets we're making a fork. I know, on cereal. Hmm. See? Someone's hungry. Uh, yeah, always. <laughs> Reese's Puff cereal. <laughs> Reese's for breakfast? <laughs>